This rivalry has been brewing for a long time, and it spills over tonight at the CompuBox Academy. I'm Todd Grisham. Alongside me is Johnny Nelson. About time to... The Dark Destroyer himself. Shoot! This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of... One of the hottest tickets around. It's standing room only for this, our main event. And there's the bell for round one. Perfect punch. Caught him with a stiff jab. You can really feel the buzz in the air tonight. So much hype here in this arena. This is not just hype. We are in for something special tonight. What an arena, what an atmosphere, what a building. Shot lands. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. He didn't take that jab well at all. this slugger as you know he's willing to take three to give one that's his game plan and it's worked out pretty well for him so far sluggers will hit anything and everything your head your ear your elbow your rib your belly button they are an absolute terror good right hand Very competitive round with 10 seconds left. I don't know which fighter is winning this bout. It's too hard to split. Do you listen to your head or your heart? Who will be buzzed first? Jab just got blocked. He takes that jab. This counter puncher is going to wait for you to move first and then will strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. Still fine to the counter punch and you've got a dummy shot. Make them react from that, then react then. I know it's hard to think that way, but counter punches, they're watching you, watching your every move, that's every switch. He parries that left jab away. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Then step back for just a moment. You've got two evenly matched fighters in this weight class. It sometimes comes down to who's in better condition. Middle waist always gives us a class. If you've got two class middleweight fighters, you are in for action. I'm quite sure right now, if you know your boxing, you're a certain fighter, Mr. Mr. I would just say marvelous, but some fighters were unbelievable. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Who's winning this fight right now? I have no idea. That was super tight. I dread being a judge. 
the ball. And don't get carried away. Yeah. Which one of these athletes is going to be the first to get rocked? He just missed with that left jab. Just when you think they're going to have a lull in the action, we get it heated back up. No doubt that this fighter's power can change the fight around in an instant. You can't afford to make one single minor mistake. Todd, we know one of these fighters can knock you out with a simple jab. They're that powerful. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Oh, and he caught him with a stiff jab. with that jam. <laughs> Stamina is so important for these two fighters because it allows them to use their skills throughout the match. It can all come down to who's in better shape. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Either way, every round is so important. So important, the referee's got to do his fight right. He's got to judge his right. He's got to do his job right. He's going to be the first one to get clipped. Which one of these athletes is going to say, I can't take it anymore? can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. He blocks that jab. Stamina is so important for these two fighters because it allows them to use their skills throughout the match. It can all come down to who's in better shape. Now you've got two fighters that are absolutely shattered. What gets you through? Willpower. Calm, because if you panic, you get desperate. If you get desperate, you make mistakes. If you make mistakes, you get knocked out. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. He just misses with that jab. Blocks that right hook. Nice job by him to block that jab. This round still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. This fight could not be any closer, could it, Johnny? That was super tight. I dread being a judge. Which one of these athletes is going to be the first to go down? Fighters certainly not going to outthrow their opponent by any means, but they will when they hit. Be a lot harder. Sometimes when you get in there with someone that's so powerful, you're not thinking. You just got to be smarter than them. You've got to be like a little fagot or pickpocket. And this is 
that jab. And he misses with that jab. He misses with that jab. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. This is certainly an aggressive fighter, but that doesn't always mean success. How many times have you seen a fighter chase a superior athlete around the ring and just get picked apart, even though they were the one pushing the tempo? I've seen some aggressive fighters like this and they are a nightmare if you are not fit if you are not fit that is the worst place to be having second thoughts in the ring there's a right hand a very competitive round with 10 seconds left This fight is closer than two pages in a book, Johnny. It's too hard to split. Do you listen to your head or your heart? He's going to be the first one to get rocked. Block that jab. seen in the past from this fighter, they don't get concerned when they lose some of the earlier rounds because they know they've got that power that can strike at any moment. It's the one who draws first blood test. That's what you've got to look at. If you hit and you know you're in there with a banger, you've got to be on it, but you've got to be confident. Jam. Can they figure out the combination to this safe? That jab scores. Couldn't land that jab. fighters is starting to run out of gas what do you do as a fighter when you just don't have the energy what can they change can they slow the pace down can they hope to, to, to knock them out early what can they do they've got to concentrate and relax because you know what you can do in the gym you can do it in the fight they've got to relax despite what the judges scorecards read there are no losers in this one This fight could not be any closer, could it, Johnny? So important. The referee's got to do his fight right. He's got to judge this right. He's got to do his job right. This is going to be the first one to get clipped. Jab misses. Cannot throw out a lazy jab in this fight. You'll get knocked out. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. I think it's safe to say one of these fighters certainly has a significant speed advantage. You can tell who it is. Let me explain to you about a fast fighter, a fast fighter that's got hand speed and footwork. They're relaxed. 
They're confident. They know they just have a quick burst. Boom! In a split second, they've let four shots go. Their footwork has got them out of the way. And these guys are so relaxed. And that's why they can maintain this all the way to a fight. And they figure out the combination to this safe. Missed him with that uppercut. He threw the hook, didn't land. Hit him with a left jab. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. winning this fight right now. I have no idea. That was super tight. I dread being a judge. Each fighter's going to get clipped first. is obviously the great equalizer in boxing, but when you know your opponent is relying on that so heavily, how do you deal with it? I've seen certain fighters that can depend on just their power alone. Forget tactics. They know the second they touch you, it's done. That's where the confidence comes from. And the jab. Just as quickly as the action slows down and heats back up. Hey, those punches add up. How much confidence do you build when your opponents hit you with their best shot and you walk right through? I've seen some fighters with a granite chin. You can hit them with a sledgehammer, they are not going to move. But then I've seen some mad punches with a chin like a crisp. As soon as you touch them, they've gone. Final 10 seconds here, and I think he knows who's won this round. Every second, every minute of this fight is important. Every second, every minute of this round is important. You cannot afford to lose it. And we enter the night. Good left hand. That one lands. Another scoring shot there. We've seen in the past from this fighter, they don't get concerned when they lose some of the earlier rounds because they know they've got that power that can strike at any moment. This could be really important.
intimidating, Todd. If you know somebody's got the punch power, someone's got the speed, someone can take you out with a simple jab, it can be intimidating. Just depends on how confident you are as a fighter. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. in the division hit like them. Stiff jab. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. is winning this bout. It's too hard to split. Do you listen to your head or your heart? He will be buzzed first. You've heard the phrase, finding a second win. I don't think I need to tell you which one of these fighters needs to find it. What could they change? They can change their attitude, they can change their, their nervous system for a certain amount of punches per run. Because otherwise, if they deviate from the game plan, they're going to be shattered once again and the fight will be over. He blocks the hook. Caught him with a left hook. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Caught him with a heavy punch. Seen in the past from this fighter, they don't get concerned when they lose some of these earlier rounds because they know they've got that power that can strike at any moment. You've got to be courageous when you get in there with someone that's bigger, stronger, and faster. You've just got to use brain. Man. Close round with 10 seconds to go. This one could go either way. Every round is so important. So important. The referee's got to do his fight right. He's got to judge his right. He's going to be the first one to get buzzed. Big right hand. It's all offense, all the time. When we talk about a fighter having power, don't just look at the head punches they throw. Look at the body shots. That could be the real difference. That power, that power might be the do or die. That power might be the, the, the equalizer. Clean left jab. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Right jab.
One of these fighters is starting to run out of gas. What do you do as a fighter when you just don't have the energy? Midway through the fight, if you are tired, this can be the loneliest place in the world. If you cheated, now we're going to find out. He gets out of the way of that left hand. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. is winning this bout. That was super tight. I dread being a judge. He's going to be the first one to get clipped. Ooh, that punch hurt him. He blocks the jab. seen all the famous boxing movies, the training scenes, the gym work. That's what it all boils down to. Who's going to have more endurance? Now this is about desire. This is about character. This is about want. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Good one. Fails to score with that left hook. Energy and endurance are not an issue for this fighter who continues to be aggressive as the rounds wear on. How do you deal with an aggressive fighter? What you do is you fight, fire, we fight. You either give it and back because that's where they're comfortable, or you play calm, play cool. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. The judges have spoken a unanimous decision victory. Unanimous? You know what? Smart, smart, that is. A total change of styles to make sure they got it. Add every round in the bag. There was no argument, no discussion, no mistake. It was so obvious.